Hey everyone! So during Hollow Week, I showed you guys how to make a book, and I did a pretty intense book. Like, I showed you a bunch of different techniques, one of them being head and tail bands, which the footage I got wasn't that great, and I know it was probably kind of hard for some of you guys to follow. I know that the way that I learned was by being up close and watching my professor sew a headband on, and the footage that I provided wasn't really like that. So I wanted to redo that part of the video with better footage and better angles and stuff so that hopefully you guys can see more clearly what's happening as I sew the headband on. So let's get started. You'll need a text block. Since this video is just how to sew a headband, I'm not going to include how to make one of these, but I'll link to two videos where I make two different types of text blocks that you guys can refer to if you don't already know how to make one. I made one that was pretty small but it had a thick spine. Tissue paper, cord, I'm just using some of the stuff that you use for jewelry making. Archival PVA glue, two colors of embroidery thread, two needles, and scissors. Cut two pieces of tissue as wide as the spine and about one and a half inches long. I mean, really, it can be however long you want. You just need to have enough to be able to glue it onto the spine. I went a little overboard and went with like three inch long pieces. Cut two pieces of cording about twice as wide as the spine. Glue half of a piece of tissue onto one end of the spine. Place the cording on the tissue so that it's hanging over the edge, like so. Apply glue to the spine and bring the tissue back over and glue it down, securing the cord in place. Repeat on the other side. While it's drying, you can prepare the thread. The width of your book will determine how much thread you need, but typically I just do about an arm's length and I usually have plenty to do both the head and the tail band. On one end, tie both pieces of thread together. Thread the other ends through each needle. And now you're ready to sew. On your text block, you should have stitch holes all the way along the top from sewing it together. Open up the first signature and thread one of the needles through the top stitch hole from the spine inwards. The tissue may be covering your stitch holes on your text block, so if that happened and you're having trouble finding the hole from the outside, you can poke it from the inside to make the hole more obvious, like I did here. Then thread it through. Close the text block and bring the thread over, like so. Take the outer thread, bring it over the cord, and thread it through the tissue to loop it around. Since it's on the very edge, you may not even have tissue there, or it may rip, which is what happened to me. If that happens, then you just need to be sure to hold it in place until you get the first stitch done. Bring the thread back over and hold it against the text block, like so. Now take your other thread, bring it over the outer thread, and use your needle to thread it through the tissue under the cord right next to the outer thread loops. Pull it tight and this will keep the outer stitch in place. So then you can let go of that thread. You'll notice that the thread switched spots. Bring the new outer thread up and over the cord and hold it in place. Bring the other thread over and through the tissue under the cording and pull it tight to secure the outer thread. And then keep repeating these steps. Every few stitches, you'll need to do a special stitch, which helps strengthen the headband. To do this, bring the outer thread over and figure out which signature it lines up with. Open the text block to the middle of the signature and bring the thread over and thread it through the top stitch of this signature and out the spine. Pull it tight and close the text block. Bring the thread back over right on top of itself. You're double looping here, but you want it to look consistent with the rest of the headband so you want the thickness to look the same. If you pull it over next to itself, it would look twice as thick, which is not what you want. Anyway, bring the other thread over and thread through the tissue under the cording and pull it tight to keep this stitch in place, just like before. And then continue on. For this book, I did this special stitch every fourth or so stitch. When you get to the end, you want to do one of these special stitches again into the last signature, but don't bring it back over, just leave it coming out of the spine. Bring the other thread over into the back of the book, and to keep it in place, thread it through the last special stitch 
like so, and then tie a knot. And here it is. You can see here that I pulled a little too tight, which caused the white thread to pull in too much, and that made it basically disappear. Afterwards, I was able to take a needle and kind of pull it out so that you can see it again, but you just want to be careful to avoid this. Trim the extra cording off, glue the ends of the thread down, and apply glue to the ends of the cord to seal those as well. Repeat on the other side. And then you're done with the head and tail band. Then you just cover the book however you decide, and then you're done! I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please leave a like. If you want to see more, then feel free to subscribe. I post art videos every Tuesday and DIY videos every Thursday. Thank you to my patrons who helped me make this video. If you're interested in becoming a patron or learning about what Patreon is, I'll leave a link right here that you guys can go check out. You can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Pinterest, or Snapchat, and I'll leave the information to those down below. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave a comment down below, and I'll see you next week. Bye.